Hello, my name is Anthony, and this is going to be a quick tip, trick, demonstration, slash tutorial sort of thing on merging envelopes with LFOs. I've been learning still about uh, CV, and I understand that there's a lot of people who seem to know what they're talking about when it comes to CV, but I don't always uh, understand the intelligence behind it how to use it uh, productively in a song. Sure, I can run a whole bunch of LFOs to modulate different stuff and eventually come up with something that sounds interesting, but uh, sometimes it might be good to start with an idea and actually uh, pursue that end destination rather than just throwing things together until it sounds neat. Anyway, that's what happened here, and I learned this little trick and I decided to share it in a YouTube video. Okay, so what I have here is a redrum. This redrum has a single bass drum hit. Sounds something like that. That bass drum hit is uh, triggering the envelope on a pulsar unit. Now, the only reason I use pulsar is because it's very easy to demonstrate this uh, technique. Plus, I got pulsar free when 6.5 came out, so, you know, why not? And uh, I'm running the envelope out into my Thor over here, which does the CV to audio signal. Secondly, we have an LFO here uh, set on 16th notes, and the uh, level is kind of high. That also is running into the Thor. So the idea here is to take this LFO, nice wavy little line, and this uh, sharp envelope and uh, merge the two so that we have one signal that whenever the bass drum hits it'll impact some other musical uh, deal in our song and uh, create uh, you know a, a after effect of the big uh, shockwave of, of the bass all right so like I said, in Pulsar, it's uh, very easy to do. We can simply drop the level of the LFO and increase this over here under Envelope. You have Envelope, um, and then it's tied to LFO1 and the level. If you increase that, uh, you get the results that I was looking for. Uh, just like now we'll watch this here wavy line, and it will become that wavy line. Kind of neat. And this, of course, can be tied to any parameter you want now, coming out of LFO1. And uh, you get that desired wobbly kind of thing that only occurs after the uh, bass drum. Now, what if we wanted the opposite of this? Fortunately, you can just run it into a CV splitter merger deal here. There is an inverse. The envelope, don't run the CV from the LFO, but from the envelope, rather. Take the inverse, and let's just say we're going to hit LFO 2. Notice I've also uh, dialed back uh, some of the emphasis of that uh, level hit. I've also got this um, LFO 2 set to full level. So basically what we're going to end up with is when this one's doing its wavy bit, uh, this one will not be doing its wavy bit. And let's say we put it on one eighth uh, notes and let's just show you what that looks like. This is, is it tied to anything? No, it's not a good deal. Let's move it into our audio CV converter and that looks like this. And what else do I need to do there? Nothing, I guess. That's about it. I want to increase the strength of the first. Is that going full up? There we go. So, as you can see, they will be uh, exchanging places when one parameter is being modulated. The other is uh, softer, and vice versa. So, how can we use this to something productive? That's the kind of point of all this, is to have uh, some sort of 
a practical application for it rather than just... Anyway, I have a drum kit. Just like so. I know, it's ridiculous. But I also have a guitar loop. Looks something like this. I'm going to uh, bypass this uh, Scream 4 for the time being and let's just take our newly altered uh, LFO and hook it up to the filter cutoff. Well, well, you know what, let's just demonstrate the guitar loop without any impact at all. Alright, yeah, it's, you know, factory sound bank deal. Going to drop the filter frequency and now add that LFO, like I alluded to just a moment ago. And there you go. My bass drum is triggering the uh, wobble, if you will, on this. Uh, I guess it's more of a wah effect on this uh, guitar. Okay, so with that in place, let's hook uh, the vice versa of this, the square wave, uh, that we've got doing the uh, 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 other thing. Yeah, that. We're going to hook it up to the dam damage control. Uh, well, let, let's again test this without uh, any modulation. Got it on fuzz. Let's cut some of the highs out of it. Right? Okay, now I'm going to hook up the second LFO to the damage control. And there you go. Kind of a neat little deal here. Ends up turning that uh, loop into a different percussive feel. You know, something with a little filter frequency uh, wah and a uh, percussive little um, distortion bit there. Anyway, long story to make a short point. Merge your envelopes with your LFOs and you get uh, things that, uh, you know. Okay, end of video. Bye-bye.